Hey everyone, Andre here. I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial for you. In this video I want to show you how to create a glossy skin effect. And uh, this is the original stock image that I used for, for this tutorial. And let me show the result. This is the result that uh, we will get. I made this tutorial in 2010, but I couldn't, I didn't make the video version until now. And actually, if you go to my website, this is a premium tutorial, by the way. Um, if you go to my website, you'll find the text version here, so you can uh, you can follow it. And uh, at the bottom here, you'll find that you'll you can download the, the PSD file, and all, of course, you have the stock images and the video, so you can uh, download uh, all of these files. And well, let's get back to Photoshop. And um, so, as I said, I use this portrait as um, for this tutorial, but you can use any image you want. Make sure you use a picture that it's well lit. So um, use a good camera, um, or maybe uh, buy an image from Deposit Photos or iStock Photos, or, or you can use uh, a picture of your of your own uh, if you want. So well, let's uh, let's get started. I could follow the same process that I followed on the text uh, tutorial, but uh, uh, let's uh, improvise. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to keep the, ba the background image here because I want to have the backup. So I'll press Control Command J to create a duplicate, and um, I will work destructively on this image. Oh well, let's let's not work destructively and let's leave the background there. And uh, the first thing I want to do is turn this into black and white. But I will not. I will not use the hue saturation. Instead, I will use the black and white adjustment, and I'll tell you why. So, add a black and white adjustment layer. The reason why I use the black and white is because um, with this you can edit the luminosity of each color independently. So I can use. Uh, I can get the reds and slide this to the right, and you can see the red tones. The skin uh, is mostly made of reds and yellows. It becomes brighter. I will only work on this eye and you will do the, the other one if you want to. Maybe I'll fix the bottom one here on the left eye, but uh, let's keep with this one and get the mixer brush tool to again to mix this part here. So if you want to get rid of um, some lines like this one here just zoom in zoom in not out and just with the mixer brush tool just uh, click here which is highlights the, on this highlight here and drag it over that shadow and that way you will mix them and you will cover that with the highlight and you can see how it looks it's easy and uh, depending on the settings that you have on the tool can build up the effect uh, gradually and it's easier let's do the same here I will probably get the brush tool with this low settings even lower let's lower the flow a bit and the opacity even more and I sample from here and brush over here because you can still see some of the light some of those lines there see those and I, I want to cover them I'll show you how I made the eyes, um, these blue eyes here, these robotic eyes. Um, it's really easy. Uh, create a new layer, uh, get the brush tool. You can use uh, vector shapes, but you can use the brush. I use the brush, uh, it's, it's all faster. Uh, use, uh, set the hardness to 100% and now increase the size of the brush until you match the eye. Maybe make it a bit bigger than the, the eye itself. Make sure the opacity and the flow are to 100% and just click once to create that dot. And now create the layer mask or use the, the eraser tool. And just uh, erase the top part because uh, you have the, uh, the, the eyelid there. So uh, the eye is not completely round. You can see that top part is not visible. And that's why what I made here. 
and well actually I have I should have used another color um, but uh, if you make it black like me you can give it color by pressing the control command U first make sure you select the layer not the layer mask and load the hue saturation check colorize and increase the lightness first and then increase the saturation to 100 and get the color that you want let's use this one click OK and let's name this right eye and I will double click on it because I want to open the layer styles and what we need to do here is uh, activate inner shadow set the distance to zero because I want to add some shadow uh, in uh, inner shadow but I want to have it um, uniform from all sides that's why I set the distance to zero and now increase the size a bit and to make it more visible I'll increase the choke like that and maybe decrease a bit the size let's set it to 18 and increase the opacity to 100 is too much let's leave it at 80 okay and we can change this if it's not looking nice a bit bigger or use the gaussian blur to smoothen it just a bit now let's leave it like that okay and another thing that i did is I added some noise uh, you can see that on the original I added some noise there on the eye see this shadow it's, it looks better here and I the light is inverted but uh, that, that that highlight there uh, I want to smoothen it like that and then I'll use the eraser because some of that got on top of her face and I don't want that 